Hello everybody, welcome to Exploring with Dan and Cindy. Today we are in Seattle, Washington for our wonderful cruise to Alaska with the Discovery Princess, Princess Cruise Line newest ship. We will do a full narrated tour of the ship. We will give you some information and tips on embarkation, disembarkation, the medallion app, safety drill, what is included in your cruise, port of call, and many more things to do in the Discovery Princess. So please join us in this adventure. We are finally boarding the Discovery Princess. At the time of check-in, we always try to pick the earliest arrival window so we can be one of the first groups to board the ship and avoid the crowd. We arrive at the Smith Cove Cruise Terminal at Pier 91 at around 10 a.m. If you're driving to the port, this terminal has a very easy access parking area available for cruises starting at 10 on the day of your cruise. The price of the parking is $29 per day and you can book online in advance at the Republic Parking Northwest website. If you are coming from SeaTac International Airport, it only takes half an hour to get to the port. But if you are flying to Seattle, I would strongly recommend to come to Seattle one day before your cruise day, because flight delays are extremely common these days. We are doing once again our favorite cruise, a seven-day cruise to Alaska, with the ports of call of Juneau, Ketchikan, Skagway, Victoria in British Columbia, Canada, and a glacier day of Endicott Arm in the Inside Passage and the Dawes Glacier. We are traveling at the beginning of the Alaska season from May 28 through June 4, 2023. Princess Cruise Line has been sailing the world for more than 55 years. The award-winning cruise sailed to more than 330 destinations around the globe, and Alaska is the best scenic cruising for us. If you choose to take this cruise, it will be amazing. Discovery Princess is the newest ship of the Princess Cruise Line. It is the third and final royal class ship of the fleet. Its inaugural cruise was on March 27 of 2022. It has a guest capacity of 3,660 and 1,346 crew members. Some of their balconies have a 270 degrees views, something that not very many cruise lines have. Discovery Princess has 1,830 cabins and 19 decks, and we will show you all of them on our videos. This cruise has everything a royal class ship has. The Princess Theater, Princess Life, bars and lounges, crooner's bar, casino, shops, movies under the star where you can sit and relax in the outdoor area of the pool while watching a movie with a nice cozy blanket and your complimentary popcorn. We just really enjoy the Discovery Princess. When you come to the ship, the first area you will see is the atrium of the ship, and princes call it the piazza. It is the heart of the ship, and all the princess piazzas are very beautiful. It is a three-level atrium from deck 5 through deck 7. It offers plenty of space to unwind and people watch. Here is where you can enjoy live music, you can dance or you can take fitness classes, you can participate in fun games and dance parties at night. On June 1st, which it was our Skagway day, Princess Cruz had puppies in the piazza, Alaskan Huskies. They were so cute. Princess Cruz has always been great with promotional deals, especially for Mother's and Father's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, but you will always find something that will work for you and your family. Princess also has Princess Easy Air. They will provide you with an airfare at an affordable price. And the best thing is that if there is any change in the itinerary, Princess Cruise will rebook you and they will take care of you and your family so you don't need to worry of missing your cruise. Now we are heading to our cabin. It was on deck 16, the Lido deck. We chose a mini suite for this cruise because it is an Alaskan cruise and you definitely need a balcony to appreciate all the scenery and the beautiful views of Alaska, especially the wildlife and the glaciers. Here at Discovery Princess, an interior cabin costs you approximately $699 plus $265 for taxes, fees and port expenses for the first guest. And the second guest will pay exactly the same as the first guest. For a third and fourth guest, it will be a little less expensive.
A balcony cabin will cost you around $1,249 plus taxes and fees. A mini suite will be $1,499 plus taxes and fees. And the suite starts at $3,368 plus the taxes and fees. The difference between the mini suite and a balcony is that this mini suite is more spacious than a balcony cabin and it has a big nice couch. There is a bathtub and a shower in the bathroom and you get two TVs. There is also a curtain that separates the bedroom with the living room area for privacy if you have more than two people in your cabin. Before you come to your cruise, you can choose to have your bed together as a queen size bed or two twin bed. It looks like they made a mistake on our bed, but our stateroom attendant fixed it immediately. Many staterooms or cabins are wheelchair accessible and also service dog friendly. You have enough places to charge your laptop or your cell phones, and each of the lamps have a cell phone charger as well. The TV is great. Not only that you can watch movies, live TV, or your favorite show with Jeff Corwin or Josh Garcia, but you can also check on the weather, look at the location of the ship, look at your ports of call, check today's event, watch the wake show in the morning, and you can do so many more things just with your TV. If you have any problems with the TV, just call the guest services and they will immediately reset the TV for you without even coming to your cabin. Alaska is a beautiful state full of history with wildlife and amazing mountains, fjords and glaciers and you don't want to miss any of them. We usually cruise on a balcony cabin on a mini suite, especially when we cruise to Alaska. On every single cruise that we've done to Alaska, we've seen and encountered bears, humpback whales, sea otters, bald eagles, sharks, mountain goats and sea lions. And the last day of this cruise, we saw orcas, the killer whales. It was just amazing. And our balcony helped us see everything during our cruise. An interior cabin or an ocean view cabin is also very nice, comfortable and less expensive than a balcony or a mini suite. You might not have the views of a balcony cabin, but the Discovery Princess has so much open space around the ship that it won't disappoint you. For example, deck 7, 16, and 17 are the best open decks to see the inside passage and the glaciers. On a cruise, thanks to the naturalist, we spotted humpback whales, bald eagles, and harbor seals. This is the sail away party. We set sail at around 4.30 in the afternoon on Sunday, May 28th. The sail away party is always very loud and fun, so you do not want to miss it. Deck 16 or Deck 17 are great decks to watch the sail away. One great thing that I want to mention about Princess Cruise is that they use the Princess Medallion class. The Princess Medallion is a wearable medallion and it is free to all guests. It is a quarter size device that never needs to be turned on and off. You can wear it wherever you go. It unlocks your cabin door as you approach. And if you order food or drinks, a crew member can deliver it to you wherever you are in the ship. And friends and family can easily locate you in the ship. You can even wear your medallion inside the pools. This princess medallion replaces the cruise cards and you can enter and exit the ship with just a scan of your medallion. And this medallion pay payment is a touch-free payment that eliminates the need for you to hand over, tap or swipe or insert a card or provide signature or enter a PIN, so it is so easy to use. If you don't want to wear it with the free lanyard that comes with, you can always stop at the ocean's front area on deck 7 on the promenade deck and buy a wrist accessory or a necklace or any other kind of accessory for your medallion if you choose to do so. The medallion also allows you to earn 7% money back as onboard credit on purchases in participating ports in Alaska. You can shop securely with your medallion device. You can choose from selected restaurants and retail locations. We bought some t-shirts and bags at Del Sol using our medallion, and we got 7% back on onboard credit.
Devon Campbell. the newest ship in the princess fleet. Every inch of this ship, every restaurant, every event, every team member was hand selected because they are the very best at creating an unforgettable cruise vacation. And to be honest, y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve a good vacation. I mean, think about it. Some of you have been waiting days, weeks, months, your entire life to come on a cruise. And we've been waiting as well. We've been waiting to connect with you, to share with you this gorgeous vessel, and to help you discover the world. And folks, that time has arrived. If you're ready for a good vacation, give me an oh yeah! That's right, this ship might be brand new, but one thing stays the same. You came here for a good time, and we will deliver. So let's kick this vacation off the right way. Eyes down on deck number 16. These are your Discovery Princess singers and dancers. Princess Cruise has their own Princess app. Just download it before you cruise to do your check-in, choose your arrival time at the port, or make reservation for your dining experience book your excursion as well. Once you are aboard the ship, switch your cell phone to airplane mode, turn on your Wi-Fi and connect to the medallion net. It is free throughout your cruise. If you want to play with real money on all of your favorite casino games, you can use the Ocean Casino anywhere in the ship on your medallion class app and play slots, poker, bingo and many more games. You can also use the Ocean Compass and chat with your family and friends, a free messaging service that not very many cruise lines have. We always use the Princess app when we cruise with Princess Cruise Line. It is very easy and helpful for all of us. If you do not understand or you cannot use the app, just go to the guest service area on deck 5 and a crew member will assist you. You can always purchase an internet package for either one device or four devices. Just follow the instruction on your medallion app. Before I forget, another thing that is very important I want to mention is that before departing, you have to do a safety drill. Princess is a streamline the traditional safety drill to make it more convenient and crowd-free. On your embarkation day, which is the first day, you can watch the safety video anytime or anywhere on board either on your cell phone or your stateroom TV. And then visit your master station and check in with a crew member before your ship sails. You will know exactly where you have to go in case of an emergency. Your master station is usually either deck seven or deck six. You can find your master station number behind your cabin door or on your app. And in case of emergency, your life jackets are inside your cabin. This whole process was so easy and fast and we loved it. We are starting our tour from the lower deck on deck 4 to the upper deck on deck 18. The medical center is located on deck 4, the gala deck, and it is the ship's hospital operated by resident doctors, physicians and nurses on a 24-hour on-call duty. These hours of operation vary from ship to ship, but you can always call 911 anywhere and anytime while on board. This is the entrance of the Lotus Spa and Salon and the enclave with treatment rooms. This spa features a wide range of treatments designed to give the passengers a world of relaxation and harmony. They have acupuncture, hydrolift facials, massage, aroma stone therapy, and many more services that you will enjoy and you do have to pay for their services. This is Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. It is an Italian restaurant that has handcrafted pasta. The shore excursion desk is located across from the guest services area. You can book your shore excursions with no problem with the help of a crew member. Just check your princess event listing for their hours. Their guest services area is mainly their customer service area on deck 5. If you have any problem during your cruise, you can talk to any of the guest services personnel and they will be more than happy to assist you. This is the International Café. It is one of the complimentary cafés 
that opens 24 hours. You can grab a specialty coffee and a sweet treat or savory snacks at any time and you can sit and relax in any of the areas around the cafe. The specialty coffees in this cafe is not included in your cruise fare. And this is the piazza, or the atrium. It's the heart of the ship. Across from the International Cafe, you will find the Salty Dog Gastropub. The award-winning chef, Ernesto Ichimura, brings gourmet burgers to this restaurant. Their burger is made with ground ribeye, pork belly, caramelized kimchi, and beer butter jalapeno. This is gelato. Only two princess cruise ships, besides Discovery Princess, has the gelato. Enchanted Princess and Sky Princess are the other two ships. Gelato is Italy's most famous dessert. It is very creamy, but it has less fat and fewer calories than an American ice cream, but it is not included with the price of your cruise. Here in Celebration, you can buy your liquor tax-free. This is the Internet Cafe, where you can use any of the computers. You can check your email account, browse the Internet for your news, stock trading or sports. If you don't have a laptop or you don't want to use your own cell phone, the Internet Cafe is there for you. And you can buy your Internet plan here as well. One thing I forgot to mention on Deck 4 is that the water shuttle for embarkation and disembarkation is located on deck 4. That's an area used when the ship visits a tendering cruise port where passengers can be offloaded and loaded back on only via water shuttles. For our Alaskan cruise, we didn't have to stop in any tendering cruise port, so we didn't have to use the water shuttle. We are going to take the whole family cruise into Alaska in the middle of August with the Royal Princess and I know that the day that we arrive in Skagway, the Royal Princess will require water shuttles. This lounge is called Good Spirits at Sea. A renowned mixologist, Rob Floyd, with over 25 years of experience, introduced a new cocktail menu at Good Spirits at Sea with handcrafted cocktails and his unique blend of technique and flair. The Juno dining room is one of the three main dining rooms and it is included with your cruise. This dining room features anytime dining plan where you can dine whenever you want. This is Deck 6, Fiesta Deck. The Future Cruise Center is the area of the ship where you can plan your next cruise with a promotional deal. So once again, check your Princess event listing to see their hours of operation. Every night, your stateroom attendant will leave in your room a Princess event listing paper. This area is called Crooners. It offers custom shaken martinis and piano tunes. It's a great place to sit and relax. Ocean's Terrace Seafood Bar is a great bar for those who love seafood, sushi, and sashimi. Mm. 
And this is the Princess Casino. It is a Las Vegas style casino. They have gaming lessons, slot machines, prize tournaments. You can enjoy playing Blackjack 21 or Texas Hold'em. You can join a Players Club or Players Club VIP with exclusive perks. Remember that the Princess Casino is always closed while on port. This is the entrance from deck 6 of the Princess Theatre, lower level. This theatre features the ship's production shows, entertainers and enrichment programs, like Alaska, The Last Frontier, or The Deadliest Catch, or Close Encounter with Alaska and Wildlife. There are also movies during the day. On our cruise, we had comedians, illusions featuring David Gatti, and production shows like Rock Opera or a Spotlight Bar. The Fine Arts Gallery is located closer to the main dining room on Deck 6. This is the art gallery of the ship. It displays a range of artwork for guests to view and purchase during the art auctions and you can take an art sample copy home. Princess Cruise is one of the few cruise lines that allows you to dine when you want, how you want, where you want and with whom you want and it is called Dine My Way, where you can personalize your reservation. You can make reservations through your medallion app even before you sail. Choose the dining time each night or vary it by day and you can easily revise your reservations and make new ones while on board. For us, Princess Cruise Line is the best cruise for food lovers. Complementary and specialty dining choices are made from scratch and they always feature destination-inspired dishes and comfort cuisine that appeals to everybody. Award-winning chefs start with the highest quality ingredients. Baked bread at all hours are freshly made. You can order food and beverage to your stay room at any time. The Skagway and the Ketchikan dining rooms are the other two dining rooms that are included with your cruise fare and they are among the best at sea. They serve dishes made with the freshest ingredients and their menu always reflects flavors from around the world. You can have an afternoon tea in one of these main dining rooms as well. Just check your princess event listing. This is Churchill's smoking lounge. It's a pub-like atmosphere where a cigar aficionado can relax in this lounge and you can also enjoy a refreshing drink. The photo gallery is where you can select and see your pictures taken by the ship's photographer. You can buy medallion accessories as well as camera or camera gear. The Shops of Princess on Deck 6 is a tax and duty free shopping area where you can find beautiful watches and jewelry.
this area is called Take 5. Take 5 is a jazz lounge where you can relax and enjoy a nice evening of music or dancing. Usually from 9.30 to 10.15, you could enjoy a relaxed evening with live jazz with Ian Bacon Trio and friends. A lot of people have asked me about the stateroom attendant. You will meet him or her on the embarkation day, and you can ask him if you want more pillows, or if you want your bed as a queen bed or twins, or you can just get to know him and say hi. In Princess Cruise, the stateroom attendant will clean your room twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. If you need something, you can let your stateroom attendant know, and he or she will get it for you. Some people like to have ice in the refrigerator, for example, or if you need a bad roll, they will get it for you. So anything you need to make your cruise more comfortable, they will accommodate you and help you. You can always leave extra tip for them if you want to do so at the end of the cruise, but it is not mandatory. This is deck 7, promenade deck. Gigi's Pizzeria is located on Deck 7 and it is another complimentary restaurant at the Discovery Princess that is included with your cruise fare. We tried their pizza and it was amazing. Every time we step aboard a Princess cruise ship, we always feel welcome and right at home. The service is always excellent and we always encounter friendly crew members. We've also cruised with Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, Costa Cruise and Carnival Cruise, but we always come back to Princess, especially when it is a cruise to Alaska. Princess Cruise first began cruising to Alaska in 1969 with Princess Italia, carrying only 525 passengers, and it's been great ever since. Bellini's is a sophisticated venue that seems to float above the beautiful piazza. You can try a Bellini's inspired specialty cocktail or anything that you want. The chef at Bistro Sur, Emmanuel Renaud, has a hotel and restaurant in the French Alps and has been awarded three Michelin stars. He brings a modern twist to classic French dishes prepared exclusively for princess cruises. Ocean front is an area of the ship where you can buy your medallion accessories like wristwatch or necklace or any accessory that you might like. This is Princess Life Cafe. You can buy a specialty coffees or tea and cocktails. Princess Life is an open venue next to the Princess Life Cafe where you can relax and enjoy live acts or comedy or attend a variety of seminars. The last day of our cruise, Princess Life had Super Nintendo game for the little ones. Here is where you will come for the art auctions.
This is the hallway that goes from the Princess Life area to the Crown Grill bar. And there are always restrooms everywhere in the ship. Crown Grill was named among the best cruise ship steakhouses by USA Today. It features premium aged beef and fresh seafood items. This specialty restaurant offers an amazing dining experience in an elegant setting and an open kitchen where chefs prepare and cook to order top quality cuts of beef, chops and seafood. This area is called Vista Lounge. This lounge seats over 300 people and it is located at the aft of the ship. You can enjoy an afternoon with comedians, illusionists and musicians performing in the beautiful stage. Sunday's Vista Lounge offers Zumba classes and line dances. On deck 7, you will find the main shops of Princess. It is a tax and duty-free shopping area. If you need anything, you will definitely find it here. You can browse the shops of Princess while it quickly turn into a shopping spree. On our inside passage day, Princess had a shopping area on deck 16, just before entering the World Fresh Marketplace buffet area, and they offer destination-inspired gifts. We bought a nice warm Princess Alaskan hat and some Alaskan souvenirs for the family and for friends. The shops of Princess have a great selection of luxury goods that include their high-end designer brand, an Effie fine jewelry, or you can pick up your own staff plush Stanley the Bear. Captain's Circle Royalty is where you can ask about the loyalty program, which is one of the best programs at sea. Once you cruise with Princess for the first time, you will automatically become a Circle member. We cruised with Princess for many years and we became a Platinum member a couple of years ago and you received multiple benefits with your membership. Deck 7 is the upper level of the Princess Theater. This theater has a Broadway-style production in all of the Princess cruises. The artists are from around the world and it showcases original productions. It is an ultra-modern theater where you can relax in a seat with unobstructed sight lines. Deck 7 has outside access to the ship from both of the sides of the ship. The port side, which is the left side of the ship, and the starboard side, which is the right side of the ship, which is very important to know because you will be hearing these words many times in your cruise. Forward is the front of the ship, and aft is the back of the ship. The Alaska cruise season starts late April through the middle of October. Different cruise lines have different schedules. Princess Cruises Alaska season is from April to the end of September. If you are trying to save some money, you should book your cruise at the beginning of the season when it is a little bit colder, but you will experience everything as if you were sailing in the middle of the summer. As a suggestion to you, try not to book an Alaskan cruise at the end of the season as the weather gets too unpredictable and you can get some ports of call cancelled due to the weather. For example, last year on 2022, we did a cruise to Alaska with a different cruise line in the middle of October and we missed some ports due to the bad weather. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. 
while we were eating on deck 16 at the World Fresh Marketplace, we saw orcas. And you can tell everybody is so excited because it is not normal to see orcas. On a warm and sunny day, it's always really nice to sit and relax and eat outside. This is the end of our video part 1. On our next video, we'll do a narrated tour of deck 8 through deck 19. and we will give you more information and tips about the Discovery Princess. We will talk about the drink packages, Camp Discovery, Princess Vacation Protection, Princess Plus, enrichment activities and more. Please consider subscribing to our channel with the notification bell on so you'll know when we'll have our next video of the Discovery Princess to Alaska and the ports of call. Thank you!